Hello, I'm Vicky Proudler and in this video we're looking at the sequencing exercise from Grade 8 of Trinity College London's keyboard syllabus. Uh, now I've already set up my keyboard with the correct voices to pre-record the pre-recorded section. Um, that is the section with the slightly smaller stave on the music and it's asking for a fantasia sound with accompaniment. So to pre-record that into my keyboard, I'm going to press my record button and then the sync start and play it in. So now I'm going to set up for my live performance over the top of the pre-recorded material and I've set up um, an electric piano but on the score it also asks for sustain. So to set up the sustain on that electric piano I go into voice effect and then select sustain on and that will give me a nice sustained electric piano sound. Okay. Um, now the balance is really important in these sequencing exercises to make sure that the live performance is really clear over the pre-recorded material as it says at the top of the exercise. So I'm going to set my song volume right down now to 70 and then I'm going to turn up the electric piano that I'm going to be using live, turn it right up to maximum volume up to 127 so that it's really clear. And now I'm going to perform my exercise so I can set my recording to come back on at sync start and play it in. With that exercise we can see why it's called circles. There's lots of wrist movement needed there to negotiate all of those arpeggios and broken chords. Um, there's also an awful lot of keys to go through as well, so really good for chords as well as scales. <laughs> 